Baron Dorel can be so reckless. I fear that his approach will lead Rivenspire down a dangerous path. Of course, his style of leadership hardly matters if we can't put a stop to Baron Montclair. I send my sister Genevi to investigate reports of trouble in the West. She's a captain in the Shornhelm Guard, you know. I'm worried, though. She hasn't sent a report in quite some time. If the High King can spare me, I might ride out to meet her. You don't look like one of those vampires or blood fiends, so I guess you're welcome. This is Camp Tamrith. We're sheltering the refugees from Crestshade and the surrounding countryside here. It's like we're living inside a tale told around a campfire. And it's a dark tale indeed. Driven from our home by vampires, forced to watch as friends and family become blood fiends, and, and then there was that, that abomination. I can't sleep. I keep thinking about those fiends. What's to stop them from following us and finishing what they started in Crushshade? To top it all off, I was forced to leave my beloved wife behind when we fled. Me and the other refugees, we are from Crestshade. It was such a peaceful little town before the mad Argonian came. He released some kind of blood curse, turned people into monsters. We fled, but my wife is still up there. My wife is the mayor of Crestshade. She's stubborn, but devoted to her job. She refused to leave while the town was still in danger. Could you go to Crestshade and make sure she's all right? Did you hear what that monster did to the town of Crestshade? Rizzlejewel has to pay for these crimes. I had to see this with my own eyes. These refugees tell a savage tale. I take it you aren't one of the refugees. You're headed to Crestshade, you need to know. There was trouble there. I need to get to Schoenhelm. A bit of bruising and a few broken ribs won't stop me from getting my report to Schoenhelm. I've got to let my superiors in House Tamrith know what happened at Crestshade. Crestshade's a small mountain town. Captain Genevi heard some alarming rumors and sent us to investigate. Turns out, a mad Argonian came out of Doomcrag and unleashed a blood curse on the town. We sent refugees from the town south to meet Captain Genevi at Camp Tamarith, but the mayor of Crestshade refused to leave, said she had to save her people. She begged us to warn Shornhelm. If she's still alive, she could use some help. I'll feel better knowing I didn't leave the mayor of Crestshade completely on her own. Remember... Head into town and look for the mayor's house. I think Crestshade is doomed. Some of the refugees kept going on and on about a flesh-eating abomination. I'm not easily frightened. But whatever is loose in Crestshade, it made my skin crawl. Yes. Calls himself Rezel Jewel. A real charmer, that one. He sent rocks tumbling down the mountain to seal the pass to Doomcrag managing to destroy half of Crestshade in the process. Then he unleashed a blood curse on the town. He's insane. Me? No, not personally. But I heard stories. It's some sort of freakish creature, cobbled together from living bodies and feasting on the blood of the townsfolk. <laughs> At least that's the way I heard it described. Be careful in there. I need to get to Shornhelm and give my report.
gone, accursed thing! I... Oh, you're not a blood fiend. Please, whoever you are, help us. Help the spirits of Crest Shade. They tore our spirits from our living flesh. Rizal Jul unleashed a blood curse upon the town, turned some townsfolk into ravenous blood fiends. But that wasn't enough for him. He used magic and our living flesh to create an abomination. A part of me still lives within the creature. You must slay this abomination. As long as it lives, our spirits are trapped in this town. They keep the creature in the chapel crypt. I think they're feeding it, making it stronger. Soon, I fear, they will set it loose upon all of Rivenspire. Find the spirits of Tharlas and John. We can use our connection to the creature to lure it from the chapel crypt so you can kill it. We'll also need personal items to focus our energy through. My badge of office should work nicely. It should be in the tower where I worked. We made our stand in that tower, but we were overrun. I can still hear Riza Jules laughing as they drag me away. That lizard's laugh haunts me. I don't know. Days before, tremors shook the town, and then it was as though half the mountain fell upon us. When the dust cleared, we were set upon by vampires and that damn blood curse. I was able to get some people away, praise R.K. Sadly, no. Those of us stuck in this half-life, tied to the abomination, can sense each other. But the rest of the town was turned into those poor, feral beasts. The ones who escaped, or found true death. Those are the lucky ones. Perhaps it is simply our ties to this town. Or perhaps in our last hours, we found the strength to resist Rizal Jules and his minions. Scholar John's spirit may still be near his home, where he taught our children with patience and humor. Mage Tharlis's spirit may be at the inn. Bless her heart. She held off a horde of vampires to give a few people time to flee. Where's my son? Help me! Please! I need to find my son! I'm so frightened. I don't know what to do. Anyone hear me? What's happening? My blood boils, yet I feel no pain. Somebody, help me! Shade was such a quiet town until that terrible Rizal Jules arrived. Please, if you haven't already found them, seek out Tharlas and John. Find our personal items. Then maybe we can end this nightmare. Of course. We've lived under the shadow of the Doomcrag for many generations. Whatever secrets it held, we assumed they would remain locked away forever. Then Rizal Jules appeared. Mage Tharlas fought the vampires bravely. She's probably at the inn. Scholar John's strength was his kindness. He's probably in his house nearby. Talk to them. Find their focuses. Then we can destroy the abomination that wears our flesh. I think I dropped it in the tower where I worked. I... I was very proud the day my father passed the badge of office to me. My family has served Crestshade for generations. My father, my grandmother before him, it means a lot to me. Yes, if they didn't flee or get used to create the abomination. Rizal Jewel unleashed his power and turned them into feral beasts. 
The more of them you can put out of their misery, the better. At least they aren't connected to that creature. I was able to organize a small group. I sent them south, to Camp Tamrith. I even convinced my husband to go with them. I pray they made it there safely. But I couldn't leave Crestshade. I'm the mayor. I had a responsibility. Forgive me. When I realized what they were doing to us, I tried to throw myself from this tower. From such desperation, I found the anger and strength to resist this torment. We must slay the flesh abomination. We can do this, together. She has a good idea to use our spirits to draw out the creature. Our flesh remains alive while the abomination lives. Through this connection, we can call it to us. What's most important to an old scholar like me? My mind, I suppose. The blood fiends tore my body apart after using some of my flesh to create their abomination. My skull was tossed aside. It's got to be somewhere in the graveyard. Definitely mine. I can feel it. We will pour every iota of our strength into those items. Take them to the crypts beneath the ruined chapel. I don't know who I really am anymore. Part of me is still alive in agony. Part of that, abomination. If Rizzle Jewel were in front of me right now, I swear my hate alone would tear that lizard to shreds. Of course, she's smart, our mayor. She knows we can focus our energy through personal items. Look for my staff at the small bridge nearby. We mounted a defense there, bought the mayor's husband the time he needed to get the refugees away. Receiving that staff was the greatest moment of my life. I'm a Red Guard. Magic doesn't come easily to my people, but I was drawn to it. 
I left Alakir and studied for years to earn that staff. I can focus all that I am and all that I was through it. I held back fiends and vampires here to buy time for our people to escape. Fear and anger made me strong. We will finish this. We must! I will send every last drop of anger, hope, and desire I possess through that staff. That will draw out the abomination. I will not fail you. I will not fail Crest Shade. your energy it's working I can feel that thing it's coming get ready Every blow as if you were hitting me, but the creature's death has put an end to the pain. Praise the eight that our tormented flesh has been put to rest. Yes, I do believe we can pass on. Yet I must ask you to perform one more favor, if you would. These items still radiate with power from this odd ritual. Would you bury them for us? Then our spirits can truly be free. I am most grateful for this kindness. Take the items to the far end of the graveyard. There you should be able to find a suitable space to bury our effects in hollowed ground. I will meet you there. We did well, stranger. I am thankful that the threat posed by that creature ended here. I think we're done here. I'm eager to see what waits beyond this mortal life. Farewell. Your kindness will be remembered. We saved some of the townsfolk and the abomination was destroyed. I am at peace with what we were able to accomplish here. Thank you. I grieve for those we lost. But I'm happy we were able to foil Rizal Jules' plan. Oh, I feel a measure of peace. I did as much as I could to help my town and the people of Rivenspire. Rizal Jules was empowering that abomination, making it stronger. We would not have been able to stop it without your help. I am grateful. We were in pain. Your kindness saved us from a tormented existence. I sent my husband to Camp Tamrith. If you happen to meet him, tell him what happened here. Tell him not to return. Let Crest Shade be forgotten. Did you pass through Crest Shade by any chance? Do you know what's happening there? My wife, the mayor of Crestshade, made me lead this group away when the fiends attacked. I keep hoping she'll walk into camp any moment now. No. Please, no. I knew I shouldn't have let her talk me into leaving. But she was the mayor of Crestshade. 
She said she needed to stay behind. Please, tell me what happened to her. I must know. Oh, my dear, dear wife. She so loved helping people. She cared about Crestshade with all her heart. Thank you for bringing me this news.